Okay, so this bougainvillea cutting we put in this container uh, the 25th of September last year and since then I don't quite remember exactly what it looked like but if I called this the front last year then it probably was the best look the tree had at the time since we got this new growth in and we're still developing the tree I've determined that this is a much better looking front the soil is getting a little bit worn down it's not watering as nicely as it was so we're just gonna go ahead and repot it today I don't have the quality tools I have a fork and you know what oh that is solid We're just going to pull it up, just loosen it. This tree either had, either had its first roots last summer or the summer before that. I believe it might have been the summer before that because I don't usually put them in this uh, container. So all this is one year. Let's take these out. I'm still trying to find my my right angle. I don't know if I should be on the other end of this. All right, I'm gonna rinse this out. Still trying to find the best angles. So I'm happy to see this amount of root growth. Wow, it is a lot. So the tree has been happy and healthy. Okay, well. That's good enough. Let's get some water on it. Okay, wow. Glad to see that. Let's clean this up. Alright, well, we're going to have to definitely take these roots back. So, I mean, I'm even going to take some up here. Let's get more soil out. Some people leave some soil on. But not me, I take it all. I want all fresh soil on this. So let's see. Hopefully we're not. I wonder how close I can get without it getting out of focus. Anyways, we're gonna want to see these roots going a little bit more horizontal. We're gonna take off some of the bottom roots. So they're under the here just roots we take today are going to promote the remaining roots. That does that. We got this one here that's kind of going that way. I'll take that back. Should get my other cutters. These are working though. Let's take this. Okay. Well, that's good enough for today. Good enough for another year. Let's 
spoke too soon. I'd like to take these off. Okay, so I'm going to get it back in that container. And then we'll look at the shape. Probably do a little bit of touch up pruning. Okay. Well, maybe I should take this. Take some more. Let's see, these are coming. Well, since it was this way, these roots were right at home going upwards like that. So, all I gotta do is just this. That's good enough. And this root shouldn't die, it should just kind of, uh, you know, make new roots off of it, just as the branches do up top. dogs right on schedule okay Set it up. so I gotta take more here so I can get the get it in a better spot in this container soil and we're just gonna go nice and nice and formal upright my favorite style so a lot of people think it's a bit plain but I think it's the most natural look you can get for a tree because most trees are naturally upright. Okay. It's a little bit to the front, but I'm gonna deal with it for a year. It doesn't bother me at all. I've already taken a lot of roots on the side. I don't wanna go too far, especially with it being almost fall. Okay, we're upright enough. Not falling down anymore. I don't wire my trees unless I really have to. Uh, I blame that on cats. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way around, like so. We're going to tuck that soil into those roots. You'll know when it's done, when you can't push any more soil. At first it goes in really easy and you'll see the soil level go down so you know that you're pushing this soil into the roots. Now since I didn't wire my trunk I have to be careful to hold it into place until I get the soil in there. And before too much time goes by the tree's going to anchor itself right in. And then we can stop worrying about the birds and stuff like that. Okay, 
going all the way around. Next I like to just kind of settle it in. Go back around again. Okay. So I see a couple roots here. Didn't make it underneath. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take those off. No big deal. Just like that. Usually I have to go with additional scoops of soil after. This actually looks pretty good to me. So we're just gonna stop. And you know what I did? I've, re I've repotted it, I didn't even put it in the water. Let's do that now. There, that should make the tree a bit happier. Okay. Next we'll do a little bit of shaping. It's definitely a, a better front look than I had just a moment ago. So, we got a branch here. Coming off of this branch. And we don't want it, because it's going straight up in the air. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Very carefully. Alright. And I will notice right here, there's another branch pointing straight up in the air. Take that off. Trying to figure the best ways to let's support the tree. I'm doing everything in an unnatural way to try to not have my hands blocked the whole video like they were on other videos I've done. Now this will probably come off a little bit later, but I'm not too worried about it. We do have branch, branch. We have another branch coming here um, that's right on the other side of this branch. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. So we want our branches to alternate. But maybe I see this here. I'm going to keep that for now, but I'm going to take the stuff above it. and clean to the trunk so it'll grow over fast. Now that I've straightened this tree, we have a problem up here with this coming straight at us now. So I'm going to go ahead and take that right off. But I'm going to be careful because there's new growth under here. So now, I see a bud here. This should open up. This will continue to be our trunk here. We're going to need a branch on this side. And I see that here. Or maybe here. We'll have to see how that does. Or that might already be dead. No, I see a little bit of a bud here. We're going to leave that alone. Now that I've done this, I can see that this branch is way too long now. So we're going to go ahead and shorten that. And we're going to shorten it right here. So that way the new growth will continue horizontally. And we do have 
an imbalance in power here with most of the growth on this side of the tree. Not too worried about it with the stuff that we've taken off. It's going to give more energy to the tree and we're just going to cut back the energy on this side and let the energy be on this side. Now I'm going to kind of let's see what I can do with this. This also is unbalanced from the tree. We do have a bud right here that I would like to utilize. So let's do that. Off you go. And I'm going to just take this back too. Usually I like to do the pruning before I do the repotting, but in this case, which you know I, I could have actually, what I should have done is just anchored the, the pot in the position I wanted it to be and done the pruning first, but it's not the end of the world because there's not really a lot of pruning to be done anyways. Alright, well I actually would like to see this get a little bit shorter also. So I see we got perfect growth right here for new buds. So I'm going to take it right here. See if I like that better. I do. So we'll see the branch continue out. Once this is anchored in, and you know what I did, I've, re I've repotted it, I didn't even put it in the water. Let's do that now. It's like I hit record and I just forget what I'm doing. I forget all my, all my prior knowledge. There, that should make the tree a bit happier. Alright, now I'm wondering, I think while we're at it I am going to take this off. It's just going to keep growing upwards, we don't need it. We'll work off the stuff that comes, that comes new. And plus I do want to slow down this whole side of the tree. And we need to get this side filled in. So, I've just, it couldn't have been too long ago that I've pruned right here. So I'm just going to leave it be. I'm not going to, I could take it back to this leaf. But, I'm just going to leave it. With the cutting that we've done, it should encourage this tree to to fill it fill itself back in. All my other bougainvilleas are well, most of my other bougainvilleas are just starting to flower, and this one wasn't yet. So I figured I better do this before the flowering comes in. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this nub off because there's so many there's so many new buds in that area. Not barely had any life in it anyway. Okay. Now I keep the more I keep going, I'm, I'm just gonna take this off now for the just for the sake of the look of the tree. We already are, we already have a pretty good start to a good taper on this tree anyway, so I'm not too worried about thickening down here. So, we'll take it back for the sake of the tree. Okay, everybody. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day.